been four days of cross-border fighting, an airstrike between Israel and Palestinian militant group Hamas. And Israel intensifies its airstrike. Hamas relentlessly fires rockets, affecting the towns of Ashkelon and Ashdod in southern Israel. Every time she hears sirens, 32-year-old Pinay caregiver Lance Recto rushes to bring her employer and herself to safety in a bomb shelter inside the house. Lance says attacks have gotten more out of hand lately. Whoa! At one point, a rocket fell a few meters from the house, shattering their windows. She later found out that their neighbor's house had been hit. Her friend, an Indian national and a caregiver like herself, was among the casualties. Meanwhile, 34-year-old caregiver Ador captured how the Iron Dome defense system of Israel intercepted some of the rocket fired by Hamas, but some still managed to hit buildings and vehicles. Sa war na na-experience ko, simula 2011, 12, until 14, ito po yung pinaka-worst. Biruin mo, in three days, 72 hours, almost 100, uh, 1,350 rockets ang sinend nila dito sa Israel. Ador showed us where they seek shelter every time they hear the siren. Dito pong shelter namin. Ito po yung pinaka-safe safe na pwesto. Yung kung pagkahagdanan po ito, pero matibay po yan. Yan. Kung makikita mo po dito, halos puno po ng tao pag may siren. May picture din ako mapapakita sa inyo mamaya. Nandito yung mga tao. Diyan sila nakapwesto. Kasi ito, hindi ito mapapasok ko ng missile. Ador and Lance are fortunate. Their residents are equipped with bomb shelters. But other Filipinos like Berna Bianzon are not as lucky. Nandito lang kami sa makalabas ng aming pinto. Wala kami shelter. Israel's ambassador to the Philippines, Rafael Harpaz, condemned attacks by Hamas. More than 1,700 rockets were falling on civilians in Israel. Hamas is attacking from civilian areas in Gaza to civilian areas in Israel. It's a war crime. As they monitor the situation, the Labor Department is preparing to repatriate OFWs who want to go home. But for Lance and Ador, leaving is not an option. Hindi natin sigurado, baka mamaya magkaroon na ng katahimikan, hindi naman po solusyon na umuwi. Ano po, kaya pa naman po sa tutuosin po. For News 5, Marian Enriquez, we are One News.